Hi, everyone. So what we are working on, we are in a new lesson this week. We are looking at making a 10 to add. And when we are making a 10 to add, basically we're saying we're wanting to add more than 10. When we put two parts together, how can we make 10 and then add the rest of them together. Here it says this week, your child is learning to use the make a 10 strategy to add two numbers. Making or adding two numbers can be easier when one of the numbers is 10, right? So when we had 10 plus one, we know that is 11 and 10 plus two equals 12. 10 plus 3 equals 13, 10 plus 4 equals 14, 10 plus 5 equals 15, 10 plus 6 equals 16, 10 plus 7 equals 17, 10 plus 8 equals 18, 10 plus 9 equals 19 and 10 plus 10 is an addition double. There are one, two groups of 10. So 10, 20. 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's plenty. So when we are trying to make a 10, if we can make it into one group of 10 and then some ones, Okay, like our teen numbers, right? We can add a lot quicker. Look at two ways you can make 10 to find eight plus four. You can use counters to make a 10. Start with eight counters and four counters. So they started with eight counters, three, four, five new lines, six, seven, eight, and then four counters. But they took this counter and moved it up and this counter and moved it up to make a group of 10. So then eight plus four became a group of 10 and how many ones were left over? Two and 10 plus two equals 12. Good, so that means that eight plus four equals 12. So what they did down here, they show, they're showing us a way that we can use a number bond. So they did eight plus four. So if I have one, two, three, four, I know that if I have eight, I can count on to 10, eight, nine, 10, I need two more to make 10. So they took those two right here, Two, eight plus two is 10, 10 plus two more equals 12. And we're gonna continue learning how to make this easier for us as we go. And I want to. All right, moving on to page 256, lesson 12. It says, activity, make a 10. Do this activity with your child to explore making a 10 to add. Help your child use fingers and then make a 10 strategy to find seven plus six. Have your child begin by holding up seven fingers because seven is the greater number. Because seven is the greater number I need to grab my annotate, there we go, okay? Because seven is, why is this not working now? Because seven is, there we go. The great, what in the world? All right, got it figured out. So because we have seven, plus six and seven is the greater number. If you have seven on your hands, two, three, four, five new lines, six, seven, 
And we know that we have two numbers that when we add together, it's going to be greater than the number 10 because 5 plus 5 equals 10. Again, we know how many more do I need to add to the number 7 to make 10. Let's look. So if I put a box around this, 7 plus what is 10? One two, three, right? So if I have seven, count on, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's three, just like I have written down. And my problem is seven plus six, and I know I have one, two, three, four, five new lines, six. I can take three of these, right? and do seven plus three equals 10, and then bring down that 10, and how many are left over? One, two, three, 10 plus three equals what? 13, good job. So if we're looking at these equations here, seven plus five, I'm going to write, Seven plus five equals blank. So if I have seven plus five, remember how many more did I need to get to seven or to ten from seven? Because seven is my greater number, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> I only needed three, right? So I can break down and take those three from the five, change four, five, because there were one, two, three, four, five here, right? So I can break this five into a three and a two. Then I can circle my seven and three. Seven plus three equals 10. And then how many more do I have? Two. 10 plus two equals 12. Okay? So seven plus five equals 12. The next problem says nine plus seven equals blank. Now, Let's write nine plus seven equals blank. If you, you don't have very much room on your paper to write, so it's okay if you want to get a whiteboard out and write it with us. So we're gonna write the problem nine plus seven equals blank. We're gonna write it up here. So you're gonna write it on your whiteboard, okay? Nine plus seven equals blank. Well, let's just count up to 10. Here we have nine and seven. What number is greater? Right, nine is greater, so I want to count up to 10. Nine, 10. I only needed one, right? But this number is seven, so I need to make the rest of the dots to count up to seven. So here we got one, two, three, four, five new line, six, seven. And now I'm going to break that out. I have nine plus, what do I have here? I have one and I have four, five, six, right? I have a one and a six. So nine plus one equals what? Right, nine plus one equals 10. So I've added the nine and the one up. So bring down the 10. 10 plus, how many more do we have? One, oh, we already broke it apart right here, six. So what does 10 plus six equal? 16, 16, good. So nine plus seven equals 16. Now we're gonna do eight plus six. Okay, eight plus six, let's write it down. Eight plus six equals blank. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to write. So here I had 16. I want to go back up here and say that 9 plus 7 still equals 16. I just broke it apart, right? 
So here I have eight plus six. Eight is my greater number, so I'm gonna count on to 10. Eight, nine, 10. So how many more did I need to get to 10? Eight, nine, 10. I needed two more to get to 10. But I still didn't make all of the dots I needed to for the six. So there's two, three, four, five new line, six. So what two numbers can I break that six into? Right, look at that, that's a combination of six. So I have a two here and a four here. So I'm gonna add my eight plus two, eight plus two, what does that equal? Equals 10, bring down the 10. Then I have 10 plus, did I finish? I added the eight and the two. Nope, now I need to add the four. 10 plus four equals 14. Okay, it's a little tricky, isn't it? So I'm gonna let you work on some of these problems. You can practice some of these problems at home with your child. Mm.